that when Satan bound her health in a spiritual world, her health became bent in the natural world. So she became bent naturally as a result of being bound spiritually. When she was bound spiritually, it affected her natural life to that degree where it could no longer be straight. It was bent. And she tried to fight against it in her own power, but she couldn't do it. And I want you to know one thing, that whatever Satan binds, he eventually will bend. Whatever the enemy locks in the spiritual world, in the natural world, that area cannot remain straight. It has to have a bend. Bent toward one way, some people, you know, it's a bent toward alcohol. For others, it's a bent toward attracting losers who constantly leaves you always hurt and broken and cheat on you. For some people, it's bent toward smoking. For others, it's bent toward pornography or bent toward lying or taking things in the store without paying. And whatever is bound in the spiritual usually gets bent in the natural. Can somebody say amen? So her natural bend was not an accident, it was the result that in a spiritual world that area was bound. And Jesus is such a brilliant teacher because Jesus doesn't just help this woman but Jesus gives us a lesson and he demonstrates to us that there could be areas that are bent in the natural that you cannot make them straight until first you go into the spiritual and you make them loose because when things get loose in the spiritual they can get straight in the natural and therefore our challenge today is not just simply how to learn to make ourselves straight but our challenge today is to how to work with Jesus to make ourselves loose so that we can be straight because this woman was bent, something happens when you are bent. You're not bad. You're just bound. Sometimes when you see a person who has a bent towards something, we quickly give them a label that they're bad. But Jesus in here, and we know this was a physical situation and I'm applying the issue of bent sometimes into the moral issues. But the issue is not always that they are bad, those who are bent but they're bound and it's important to make the distinction it's important not to label every single person as well you're bad you're bad you're bad when we open our eyes to the spiritual world we might see that it's not necessarily that they're bad it makes them look bad it makes them act bad it makes them think bad it makes them associate with bad but maybe perhaps they're bound when you are bent you're not necessarily bad, just bound. When you are bent, something Bible says that she could not by no means raise herself up. She wasn't bent because, well, she just had this issue of always walking low. She wasn't bent because she was lazy. She was bent because every effort she put in to make her life straight failed. It proved abortive. She tried. She tried many times. She's not lazy. She's not stupid. She's not just a woman who has problem in her health. She is a woman who is bent naturally because spiritually she happens to be bound. And nobody saw that. I don't think maybe she even saw that except one person who saw that and that name is Jesus Christ.